Hey, uh, quick video here. Uh, just short update. If you're seeing this, it's uh, May 17th. Um, in the last week or 10 days or so, I had a lot of messages on Facebook. I haven't had a chance to get back to. I had some uh, exam I had to take for work, uh, my real job. And um, I basically, I disappeared for about 10 days to uh, study for that. I did pass it Friday, so that's good. I got a 90%. <laughs> passing requirement was 72 so that's out of the way so I will be getting back to uh, those messages and emails uh, probably today or uh, tomorrow anyway I also within the past couple of weeks I picked up a new item uh, the FN FNS compact um, this is the no manual safety model with factory night sights which uh, I waited specifically to get this one because uh, Ameriglow is not going to be making pro IDOTs for it unfortunately they have no plans at this time so I said you know I'll just wait and get the factory uh, tritium night sights instead of um, getting three dot aftermarket night sights anyway I was uh, really thinking before I got this that it was going to be extremely similar in size as the MNP9 compact that uh, I've had for a while, carry this uh, frequently, I bounce between this and the shield usually. Um, so I just thought I'd do a short little video here to show the... Um, overall comparison I guess of the size and uh, features so first off if you look at the control side magazine release slide stop takedown and all the controls are basically in the same spot they all work the same way uh, kinda no big surprise there um, but you start looking closer I don't know if, if this will show up in the video but you know there's the M&P logo here, or the Smith & Wesson logo rather here, FN logo here, molded into the grip, okay? There's a Smith & Wesson logo here on the slide, there's an FN logo here on the slide. Okay, now you start looking even closer, and here on the front of the slide, where this says FNS 9C, this says M&P 9C, so they have their, um, all their markings are basically laid out the same and in very similar places so um, I, that doesn't really matter but there was a discussion a week or so ago where when I first got this and I lined them up side by side and took some pictures and I said hey look this is like almost identical and I was speaking from a dimensional standpoint if you look at the height you know they're basically about the same grip height you look at the uh, overall length they're about the same overall length the FN from this angle appears to be a little bit thinner um, but I believe that's just because it has more aggressive uh, contouring of the slide um, really when you start looking at this the uh, sight length is a little bit different that was about the only thing that I could come up with dimensionally that was different um, to me, the M&P feels fatter, but I have not tried uh, without the Crimson Trace Grip on this, which the Crimson Trace Grip is fat. Um, anyway, so somebody was telling me, well, those aren't identical at all, like, in any way. <laughs> and I'm looking at these saying, okay, even on this side, where it says... Smith & Wesson Springfield MA and here it says FNH USA Fredericksburg VA so um, even like that marking is in approximately the same spot R really the only functional difference between these two or aesthetic functional difference is the FN does have forward slide serrations where the M&P does not um, other than that uh, oh one other difference 
I, or one other similarity, they both have ambi slide stops. The FN does have an ambi, built-in ambi uh, slide, or I'm sorry, mag release, where the M&P is reversible. Um, so my idea that these were similar, you can kind of see here too on the width of this slide. I hadn't put a, uh, I haven't measured this, but you can see here the FN slide might be a little bit, a little bit narrower, but it appears to be narrower overall because of where it's stepped down here, where the M and P is not. But anyway, the, the kind of the point of the video here, since this is a holster channel primarily, um, so this is the holster that I've been carrying the M and P in. So good fit. You've probably seen this holster in the video before. Um, so, just for grins, because I have a mold for this, and now I have the real gun. Um, I'm working on a holster for a customer, and then I'll, I'll make one or two for myself. But for being able to carry this gun, it fits in this holster. Like, it doesn't fit as good, but, I mean, it does retain it, hanging it upside down. If I give it a good shake... I think it would probably come out because it doesn't quite have that positive pop uh, because the trigger guard shape is a little bit different. You notice where this is this is vertical here, and the M and P is more of a slant, so it's not it's not catching in this area as positively as it would if it were made for the gun. But when I talk about being dimensionally identical, I mean if it fits into a Kydex holster made for another gun well enough that it doesn't fall out hanging upside down and it, you know, draws and holsters fairly easily. I mean, it's got to be dimensionally um, almost spot on. So, anyway, um, that's that. One thing, uh, real quick, back to the sights. Since uh, I'm not a huge fan of three-dot sights, what I did with these, I don't know how well this will show up on this video, but you see the white dot in the front and the back they did not have halos on the back uh, white halos which i liked um, because it makes your eye uh, focus more in the front your eye is more drawn to the front uh, one other thing i noticed with night sights and you see this in all the pictures people post to their night sights on online is the back sight looks real bright and the front sight looks dim i know that's not actually true it's just because this is closer to the camera lens it appears brighter so all I do with with these and uh, this is a kind of a trick I think anybody can do um, if they want to improve their night sight sight picture is just take a black sharpie and just dot dot right on the end of the tritium bile and then when you look at this at night and I got a picture I can post up in a comment or something or link to and you can see um, at night, in complete darkness, the front sight um, is it appears to be brighter, so your eye is more drawn to the front sight rather than the rear sights. Um, if you try that and you decide you don't like it, you can just take some rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip and uh, clean the marker off of the rear sights. So that's that. Uh, if you have any questions on that or comments, post them below. Um, if you are waiting on hearing back from me or a holster. I am getting back into the groove uh, today. So we'll be uh, shipping things as early as tomorrow. Uh, thanks a lot.